Hello all you imps, pixies, and other fine fae folk. It's me, the Hobby Hobbit. This is a channel where we like to play with different artsy, craftsy things, but we are master of none. If you've just stumbled across my channel, I would love it if you would consider giving me a like and subscribe. It helps my baby channel grow. For those of you who have come back and are subscribed already, hi. How are you? How you doing? Welcome back. Right, so I had an idea today. It's kind of influenced by Carrie the Crafter, C-E-R-I, the Crafter, Carrie Griffiths, wonderful YouTuber. Um, it's kind of inspired by that, but not 100%. Um, what I want to do is I want to stamp onto tissue paper um, because I got to thinking, you know, I, I worried that I was going to run out of my butterflies. And so I thought, well, why don't we stamp on tissue paper butterflies and watercolor them? So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try it and see if it works. If it doesn't, well, it's gonna be a video that we can all laugh about, right? So that's kind of my plan here. Um, the watercolors I'm gonna use are just from Five Below. They're a $5 set. I've not even opened them up. I don't even know how good they are. I just thought, let's have a go. I felt like watercoloring. Uh, these are, this is from the Dollar Tree. So these cost $1. And I think these are probably from either Joann's or Hobby Lobby one of the two maybe even walmart who knows so i wanted to do some butterfly stamping and that's what we're gonna do that is what we're gonna do yes we are and it's my understanding that archival ink is not water is waterproof so that's why we're using this ink we're just gonna stand oh shoot fire damnation I don't want that on my mat. <laughs> Y'all, already. No. Oh, it's waterproof. Huh. Oh, no. Is it alcohol resistant? <laughs> well, no. I don't know. This is my new mat. Oh, you guys. You guys, my mat has its first battle scar. It's brand new. I've only had it like four days. Yeah, that is not coming off. Okay, well, lesson learned. Now I guess I don't have to be so careful with the mat, right? Okay, let's just carry on. Stamp in, lift, ooh, it's so pretty. We're gonna stamp several so that we can paint several at once. I don't know what side to go on. I'm going on the not shiny side. There's like a shiny side and a not shiny side. I'm choosing the not shiny side. I wonder. Let me get this out of the way. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. One. Two. Oh, that's a pretty imprint there. Three. Oh, that is pretty. That's a pretty imprint, you guys. For these being from the Dollar Tree, I think these are phenomenal stamps. Okay, let's do some of this one. I don't know if I want to do the sideways one or not. Let's let these just kind of sit over here and dry. Oh, my poor, poor mat. Well, live and learn. Shiny side, not shiny side. Oh, okay. Yeah, good thing I'm doing this under this because that is stamping onto my sheet and not coming off. Huh. I 
Okay, Archival, I see you. I'm picking up what you're laying down. You are fierce and you're letting me know it. This is just cheap tissue paper that I again got from the Dollar Tree. So it's nothing like I'm not using bougie equipment or stuff. This is <clears throat> a, a really cheap acrylic block. The only bougie bit that I'm using is this archi archival ink and that's only because it's waterproof. And I know the VersaFine that I have been using is not. I found that out quite quickly. Okay, so we have four of those. Oh, there it is, right in front of my eyes. I kind of want to do some dragonflies too, but I only have the one de dragonfly stamp. So those two are drier than these two. Let's just kind of keep them together. One, two, three, four. Move you this way. So I'm curious as to if any of you guys have watched my videos in full because I do have a hidden 100 subscriber giveaway challenge in one of my videos from the last three days. Uh, and it was a test to see something. So I'll know in the comments. That's pretty too. But my thought with this was if if I can if I can stomach fussy cutting these and do it okay, after we've painted them, then I'm gonna have more butterflies. Cause I'm scared I'm gonna run out of pink butterflies doing this journal before my Timu order gets here. Who knows when that's going to be. It says sometime next week or the week after. Um, and that is not something that I have been paid. It's not something that has been sent to me. I have purchased them all myself. I signed up for it um, and got them all myself. So I will give you my on. Well, even if I were given something, I would give you my honest opinion on it. Right. So before we do more stamping, I want to test the watercoloring and see how it goes. I don't want to waste time stamping a bunch of these and then not have it work like I see it in my head. Makes sense? Yeah, I thought so. Me too. Okay, so we're going to put all of this stuff over to the side here. Ink on top. These are not dry yet. These are the next, next dry and these will be the first dry. Okay, as far as brush goes, um, I'm just using, I think these are just fine touch. That's a, um, that is a Hobby Lobby brand. So that's what I'm using. Um, I have more somewhere. I don't know where I put them, but they are the ones that I have elsewhere are just a Walmart, really super inexpensive Walmart brands. Kind. I'm gonna move these out of the way too for now. Get that brush in there soaking. Let's use our knife so we can open it up. Yeah, yes. Boom. Oh, it's so satisfying. Oh, it's so satisfying. Well, I guess before we do anything else, let's look at these colors, shall we? Why are you not looking over there? Go. Oh, I need to measure this. Sorry, 
Sorry, I'm kind of going three different places at once here. Yeah, I didn't think that was wide enough for what I want. Okay. Oh, it comes with a little brush and a water brush. Uh, the brush it comes with is probably jank. Yeah, it's not the greatest. You can see it's, I mean, it's, it's not great. I'm not really worried about that. That's, I mean, it is what it is. I'm more after the colors of this, so. And, you know, I should probably swatch them out. I'm not going to, though. Where's the fun in that? Where is the fun in swatching when you can just get right in and start doing your painty paint paints? Yeah? So we're gonna go with this hot, hot pink. Hotty, hot pink. And we're just gonna paint and see where it takes us. Ooh. Ooh, maybe I should zoom you guys in. Can you see me okay? Ooh. Not mad at that. I know the uh, camera just went dark. It's because when I zoom in my phone to a certain point, the camera will shut off because it's so zoomed in. And for those of you who are into is it entomology, I apologize if these are not the correct colors for whatever type of butterfly this is. Uh, but simply put, I just I want some pink butterflies, so I'm going to make some pink butterflies. Ooh, this is so satisfying. Oh, this is satisfying, you guys. Oh. oh yeah, this is, this is, this is the bee's knees. Okay, let's add a little more water to this little cake pan thing because it's, uh, that's got some bulk to it now. It's probably like not even a quarter or an eighth of an inch deep, but you know, whatever. It's it's a nice little cake pan to me. We need to add a little bit more onto this because that's a little light. I got a little uh, scared to add color there at first. Oh, this is satisfying, you guys. Oh yeah, baby. Now see the difference between what I'm doing and what Carrie Griffiths did. Carrie the Crafter, for those of you guys who want to go and look him up, he is really, really good. Um, he put this onto book pages first. He mod podged or did something to put the, he glued it on or something, the, the tissue paper on, then stamped it. No, wait, he used he got a book page. He used like a pale acrylic paint to very lightly brush across the book pages to pull back some of the wording so it's not quite in your face. Then he glued this on and stamped it and then painted it. Whereas I'm just painting these. And I think, I don't remember if I did video it or not, but I did try it his way. Um, but the stamps, the way I colored them in, I was using those markers that I have, the watercolor markers, and they just did not work with it. It, it did not work, the, and that's how I found out the VersaFine runs. Is that, 
Okay, I'm glad I lifted that up because I thought those dots were in it and I was going to dot the butterfly. Um, because I want to bring this in, I'm going to make the body of the butterfly the same color as the dark part of the little tips of the wings. And then maybe we can brush a little bit of this in. Just to bring in a little bit of that shading. so sharp there. Oh gosh, I could sit here and do this all day, you guys. Seriously, this is so satisfying. Okay. Now this one, let's do, um, see I don't have anything to mix it with. So we're just going to pull this color over here. Get some of that. And pick up some of my light pink to make another pink. There, it's not quite so bubblegum and it's not quite so hot pink. Yeah, that's a different color. Okay, okay, I feel you. I'm picking up what you're laying down, though. So I've told you guys about my mom's Jeffy, his little the little sausage dog that we have. He knows exactly what he's doing. He is a smart little booger. He um, pointed up on mom's bed, and I was just kind of sitting up there because I just finished filling her meds up. So I lift him up onto the bed and he comes up to me and he just starts loving on me and giving me kisses and stuff. And Marvel just looks at him and just starts going crazy. And he looks at my mom to make sure my mom is watching him give me kisses. And then he looks at Marvel to make sure Marvel is watching him give me kisses. <laughs> and then Marvel, once he, once Jeffy decides he's done, Marvel pr promptly decides he's going to start trying to hump him. Keep in mind, he's been fixed since he was like two and a half months old. <laughs> Which gets my mom yelling at Marvel. And Jeffy then comes back to me and starts it all over again. Because he knows he's going to get him in trouble. What a little turd. He is a turd, I'm telling you. Okay, so I'm going to grab the original pink that's not diluted now to throw in this color again. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think I'm gonna have to look for more stamps now. Ah, devil, did you see that? Ah, no, 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 no. Well, I guess I'm gonna be fussy cutting, so it'll be okay. Got a little too much liquid on this. Didn't mean to have that much. My mom is watching ice skating and whoever is ice skating is skating to an opera. Yeah, I like it. Okay, now let's go ahead and grab these dark bits. I'm not as careful with this one because I've already messed up on it, so I'm just like, okay, it is what it is. Okay, 
Let's try one of these bigger ones. Um, pink, pink. I like this pink. Since this is bigger, I want a lot of it to work with. And then, instead of layering it down with pink, let's layer it down with white. And see what we get there. Hey, handsome puppy. Is you so handsome boy? You is so handsome puppy. You is so handsome. Yes, you is so handsome. Yeah, I love you. Yes, I do. Mommy loves you so much. Yes, because you is the handsomest handsomes. Okay, let's just try this out. I hope everybody has had it well. Today is Sunday still, so this will be up on Tuesday. I hope everybody had a good Easter. Um, I did. It was nice laid back and chill. I want to thank everybody for supporting my little baby channel. I have reached, as of the time of this video, um, 125 subscribers. I'm absolutely floored and humbled and eternally grateful to you guys. You have no idea how special it makes me feel to know that somebody out there, 125 somebody's out there, like the content that I'm putting out there in my quirky little self. Because, let's face it, I'm an oddball. I said since I was 12 years old that I, like everybody else, kind of is on Earth and I kind of orbit somewhere out there. And I think 125 of you guys might be kind of a little bit like me. And I'm so grateful to you guys for that. For helping my little baby channel grow. For your support, your kind comments. Oh, this is so, so, so relaxing, you guys. I really am enjoying this. Okay, so I think instead of pink, I'm going to try to do some teal now. Some teal dots. We're going to dot it up, guys. <laughs> you were waiting for it. Admit it. You were waiting for me to say, we're going to dot it up. Just a little bit, yep. Don't necessarily have to dot these since this is, there's a whole bunch of little teeny tiny dot dots down through here. Yes, I know I have messed up over here, but that's okay because I'm gonna, I have to cut them out anyways. Let's go back to, what color is this? Is this gonna be a bright red? Nah, we can work it. We can work it as a pink. We'll just put it dark down here and let it fade out. So this looks like a hot mess, what I'm doing here, but I think I've got a plan here, so bear with me here. Oh, that was too much water.
Way too much water. I didn't mean for that to happen. And full disclosure, again, I am not, I do not claim to be an expert at any of this. As I've said, I am not a master of any arts or crafts. So yeah, I'm just playing. I am 100% just playing right now. And having a fun time doing it too, if I might add. That's really wet. See, this is where I wish I had a heat gun. So I could dry it some before I continue on. But I don't have a heat gun. I hope you guys can see okay. And I think this one's gonna have a little teal body. Oh. Yeah, I'm liking it. Now let's just do some like this. I don't know, those seem to have smeared. Let's try see these. Yeah, those didn't stamp very well, did they? They're smeared. They're all smeared. Okay, those didn't stamp very well. We're just going to do one that's all pink. I wonder why that's more and the other one didn't. On this side it's not. I've noticed that. Is it because I'm going back and just picking up a bunch in a hurry? Do you think? Oh joy, we've got more rain coming. So it's, well, I mean, I suppose it's this time of year where you want rain for the farms and everything, but on my drive down, it's basically like a monsoon. So all I've done here is I've just taken some of my water, rinsed it, and I'm just using the clear water to kind of pull some of that pink out so it's not so sharp there. There. This guy, I think I'm just gonna do teal. Maybe we could do him teal with pink outsides. What do you think? Ah, okay, so the paint is a little drier on this one. That's where the difference is coming in. And these are not like liquid paint or anything. They're cake. I guess they're called cakes. And since I've been dipping in the pink so much, they're getting uh, wetter. So they're, that's maybe why they're spreading so much better. That is a nice teal color, isn't it? Ooh, that's pretty. 
pretty amazing. I have Mr. Cry Cry back in here again. He's sitting here staring at me. I can feel his eyes boring into me. <laughs> Hi, puppy. Sorry, I just got kind of quiet, didn't I? Got so involved in just enjoying this that I forgot to comment and commentate for you guys. But this is just, it's super relaxing. I mean, just look at that. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to let these dry and then I'm going to attempt to fussy cut them out and then we'll have some more flutter buys that we can put on our, you know what, I'm looking at that and that's just way too, too, too bright of a red. I want to water that down some. I want it to be red. I want it to be pink. There we go. I like that better. Okay, so I'm going to let these dry. Wish I had a heat gun. Going to have to invest in that soon, I guess. Um, and then I'm going to fussy cut them, and I'll show you them in the next video if they turn out okay. Oh, look at that. That's dry already. Those are dry. That one's still wet, and these are wet. Okay, until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.